Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Hoplo. In this video, we will discuss about another lit code problem that is the maximum units on a truck. We will understand what this question is exactly saying and how we can approach this particular question to solve it. Okay, so before starting this video, uh, if make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for regular lit code videos. So this video question is a uh, easy level question and uh, let's uh, try, uh, uh, read it and try to understand what this particular question is talking about. It says you are assigned to put some amount of boxes onto a truck. So you are, you need to put some boxes onto the truck. You are given in 2D array that box type. So here we have box type being given to us and uh, where box type I is the number of boxes. And then like box type, uh, like uh, then uh, like within the studio array, we have another thing like the uh, number of units per box. Okay. So it uh, like box types has like two stuff in it uh, on each row. That, that is a number of boxes we have. Uh, and also the number of units per box are available to us. So that's what we have over here. And uh, what are these two things? Is that like the number of boxes is basically the number of uh, like number of boxes is the number of box type of i like of, of type i like the ith element of type ith element is like the number of boxes we have of this type and uh, number of units per box is like uh, of each type i what is the number of units present in each box okay so that there are boxes of some types uh, different different types and within that we have like how many uh, units are there in each box we need to check that okay uh, i mean we are given uh, with, with this element now what else do we have you are also given an integer array truck size so here you have a truck size and then uh, which is the maximum number of boxes uh, that can be put on the truck okay so that's the maximum number of boxes that we can put on the truck and you can choose any box to put on the truck as long as the number of box does not exist truck size. So uh, as long as the number of boxes we have uh, does not exist, uh, like uh, it does not. So it says like as long as you can put uh, any box on uh, like truck as long as the number of box does not exceed truck size. So we cannot put something more than the truck size but we can put, we need to check how many we can do, right? That's why the next line is like, return the maximum number, total number of units that can be put in the truck. Okay, so uh, by the reading this question, we can find that it is, isn't it something more or less looking like our uh, uh, knapsack kind of problem where we need to put uh, uh, some uh, stuff into our sack and then see what is the maximum number of items that we can put in our sack and load our sack like the maximum is so it, it's a pretty common uh what you can say a pretty common question based on like greedy algorithm so whenever you see questions like this and uh, you find that uh, there's like uh we need you can basically understand it's the uh, like normal napsa kind of question okay and what else are there in the box type? you can see one three uh like one being the uh like type one okay and on type one how many boxes are there three boxes are there and like number of unit per box is three okay and this is the number of boxes uh one box is there and it has three units per box then there is like uh, two boxes there of this type and there are like two units per boxes there and the third one is like uh, three boxes are there uh, over here and it's like uh, it is more like one units are like one um, one unit per box are there okay so what the basic idea is we need to maximize the number of units see what we need to maximize maximize the number of units so what is the number of units the number of units is given on this uh, like this is the number of units we have over here right so what exactly we need to do first thing sort the array in descending order based on this number of units right what will happen for that if you sort the array based on this number of units in descending order so all the uh, items you will find at the top will be uh, like having the maximum number of units per box right so that will be the maximum number of units you will find per box and then 
so that means you you are saving space and also uh, maximizing your uh, uh, number of units. So you just put in one box, and in that place you just found you got a much more unit, uh, much more units of item in it, right? And then you keep on taking up, like as much as, as long as the truck size is not full, truck is not full, you keep on adding boxes from next, 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 like a lower number of units as well. And that, then you can actually figure out how this is done. Like as an example, the, the, you have, we just read this example and you say the truck size is four and the answer should be eight. That's what they're saying. Let's try to understand the explanation. The explanation says like one box of the first type contains three units. Two box of the second type contains two unit and three box of the third type contain one unit. Okay, uh, so you can take all the boxes of the first type and second type and one box of the third type. See how, how is it? So there, there it is like uh, one box plus two box. So that is three boxes are done. And then you you got one. You you need to take one box out of these three boxes. So thus you can you take a, a total of four. Uh, Per truck size, right? So see, in that case, you find that there is three plus two, five, and one from here. That is six uh, units are done. No, uh, what I did? No. Uh, uh, finally, like the, that's not the, like six units are done, but how many is the size? Size is like one into three plus uh, two. You will take here the so two into two, and then uh, like uh, two boxes having two units each, and one boxes having three units each. And one box is having one unit each. So that's how we uh, come to a result of eight over here. Okay. So that's the idea behind this. Like that's how uh, this whole question works. And I hope I can make you understand how this question is. This is pretty much similar to our uh, uh, knapsack kind of problem. So the first thing we will do, we'll like uh, sort the box types uh, array, like this box types array, and in descending order. By the number of units per box, that is the number of units per box. I say, uh, okay, so that will be uh, this box types of uh, I1, more or less I1, you can say. And then uh, out of that, what we will need to do, uh, like we will iterate through the box type, and at each step, we should add as many boxes as we can, uh, like until we reach the truck size, okay? And we should add the number of boxes added multiplied by the units per box. To our, to our answer, like the that's what we are doing here. Like uh, number of units per box, and uh, like we are adding the number of boxes added multiplied by the number of units per box. So that's the multiplication we are doing over here. Okay, and then and then uh, like at the same time, what it will be best to do is like we'll we will simply uh, reduce the truck size by like how many boxes we added, and then uh, reduce the truck size to that. Okay, so uh, that's the idea behind this. Simply reduce, keep reducing the truck size, and if the truck size becomes zero, we got our answer. Go ahead with the answer. Our answer, we our answer is here, and we'll simply return our answer. So that's the idea we got here. So let's uh, write this exactly in terms of code, and then see uh, how exactly it works for us. Okay, how uh, well efficient it is. So let's uh, write this code. Awesome. So we find that uh, this particular question works uh, for us. This is not the fastest, uh, like fastest algorithm we have, but uh, this works for us. So uh, fastest algorithm, we can go ahead with something like back sort or something like that. But uh, let's understand uh, what we have over here. Okay. Like as I said just now. So that's what we have basically. So uh, whenever there is an array or as the sort is used, you must know that it is going for like. Uh, n log n, like n being the box types uh, array, like uh, this box types array is length where we have. So that should be n log n with the complexity. And then we are going for each of the items. So that's a lot lo like order of n is here and there, there's n log n is there. So n log n will be the dominant one in this time complexity. Now uh, let's understand further. So what we did, we simply uh, did an array just sort, they sorted our all the box step based on the second element. Second element being we have over here is like a uh, number of units per boxes. Okay. So that's the uh, one we did. We just uh, sorted the array. Then we took a final answer variable as zero. Uh, we just uh, make sure that initially is zero. And then we 
went through e each of the boxes in this box type and then what we found uh, we just uh, found out like we took the current value current value being uh, which one is minimum either the box size is minimum uh, like either our truck size is minimum or our uh, box of uh, zero like uh, our current box uh, like the number of boxes we have over here is minimum so whichever is minimum we are just doing like uh, uh, in this case look like uh, since we had like the number of uh, boxes is minimum uh, like number of boxes was in minimum the truck size was minimum over here like only one unit was left in the truck size so what we did exactly we multiplied it with the current uh, like with our b of i b of i was one uh, like one over here one unit we have so that's how we are doing over here okay and then we reduce our truck size we keep reducing our truck size and uh, then we find that if our truck truck size anyways uh, reaches to zero uh that's what we got an answer and if anyways like we took like all the boxes everything we got like uh, and still some probably some truck size is left for us in that case we cannot do anything any further right so we will return the answer like we uh, somehow took the all the elements and that's the final answer so uh, most of the cases that in between this step will return as the final answer but uh, on some cases if our answer is like going out and like we have less number of boxes than the truck size so in that case it will be a final return answer so that's more or less a idea behind this question and uh, this question uh, like uh, is pretty easy to understand more or less a knapsack kind of con concept is there also uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular lit code videos and also uh, if, if you face any uh, problem related to the understanding of this question make sure you just comment below i will be happy to help you out as well so uh, thank you all for watching this video hope to see you soon in my next video as well thank you <laughs>